what is up will here and today i will be showing you how to make a loading screen for your roblox game so first things first you're going to want to open your explorer if you have not got it open already it is in view just here and also open properties here so in starter gui open this up add a screen gui just so you know what it is i like to name it loading screen and then next thing we're gonna do is click the little plus next to it and add a frame in this is going to be our loading screen flat frame so what we're going to want to do here is we're going to come here size open this up x and y open this up obviously you can just scale it yourself by here just making this um one comma zero one comma zero but um, i just prefer to make the offset zero and then rescale it so you just bring it here and make it cover your screen and then you're going to want to get a nice color i already have a nice color saved it is this one here this nice blue i've used it for all my gui so far however if you have not got one saved you need to click on this little box here so it's highlighted and find the color in here you can change it up a bit in here press ok and yeah so i'm going to use this as it's in my custom colors and then you're going to want to come to border color and you're going to want to use the same color press ok border size pixel set that to something like 100 i think you only need about 20 or 50 but i do 100 just to be safe and then now that is our loading screen done so what we're going to want to do is add a text label here this is going to be the part that says the text on screen so first things first let's change the size so x offset to zero y offset to zero and then we just rescale it to how we want i'd say this should be about nice i might change it up a bit actually might make it a little bit bigger bear in mind guys if you make a really bad loading screen maybe you add images but like the images just don't work with your game or don't look good people are going to click off the game so if you do add images or anything else on screen make sure they fit with the game make sure they look good because if they don't high chance someone will just click off your game so what we're going to do now is we're going to come over to our text i like to make my text color white as i think it looks very nice with this blue we can't see it here because it's white we're gonna make the text loading you can make it all caps just capital l or no caps i have a capital l you can change font if you want i like to use arial bold and then text scaled is a yes and then we're just going to come here and we're going to make the background color of no not the background color we're going to set the background transparency to one and as you can see that is loading okay so guys the next thing we're going to want to do is click on the plus next to text label add a local script then copy and paste the first script that will be in the comments it will be pinned just copy that and paste it so basically this will make it so it's loading with no dot and then after one second loading with one dot after another second loading with two dots after another second lo loading with three dots and then this one basically makes it loop back to this so this is just what will make the dots change some people don't like to have their no dot at the start so if you don't want no dot just highlight this and press delete but i'm just gonna keep it so yeah okay so guys what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to find our frame click on plus and we're going to add another local script and guys this is the final script you need for this video just copy and paste this it's just this i have weight 12 as personally i like to have a multiple of four if you understand what that means if you do not that's basically 
if four can go into that number without there being a decimal. So let's say I were to put 15, four doesn't go into 15 whole, so it wouldn't do a whole loop round. So obviously you can just have it whatever you want. And let's say you were gonna have seven, it would go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it would end here. So if you are fine with that, then feel free to change it to what you want here where it says the weight. But the number here is basically how long the loading screen will be on for. So just change it to how long you want. Okay, so guys, the next thing you're going to want to do is open up replicated storage here. Ignore this classic sword. I have this here as this is part of a bundle series where I basically show you how to make lots of different types of GUIs. And this is just for a game boss. So ignore that sword. In replicated storage, add a script, just a normal one. You don't need a local one. Copy and paste this. It will be the second reply to the pinned comment. So yeah. Just copy and paste this. This basically gets rid of the default loading screen. It will still be there. However, it won't be there for that long as it needs to be there for the game to actually retrieve your your own loading screen. Because if it were to not have that in, it would just act as if that's the normal loading screen and it will go for longer. So here we press play. Here it goes along nicely. That's the first lap, that's the second lap, and this should be the third and final lap. There, now we're in the game, and now we can see all the other GUIs. So, if you found this tutorial helpful in any way, or found it entertaining, then please leave a like, and if you're new here or haven't already, maybe consider subscribing, as I upload every other day, and every other upload is a roblox studio tutorial if you have any suggestions of what you guys want me to show you next please let me know in the comment section down below but until next time bye guys